Satchabapatayujyate. The word Sat is employed in a sense of reality and goodness. And O also Partha Arjun, the word Sat is used for praiseworthy action. Sat is a name for the Supreme Soul and it is employed in a sense of Sadbhav, reality, and Sadhubhav, goodness. What is Sadbhav, reality, and what is Sadhubhav, goodness? If you look at the meaning of the word Sat in one way, then it means eternal. Sat means perpetual. God says, Satchidananda Rupaya, I am the form of existence, wisdom, and bliss. Sat means eternal. In Sadbhav, reality, Sat means to be. The fact that the Supreme Soul is there is so strong that God's power and being is Sadbhav, reality. God is there. In a life, a person gets pleasures and pains, fame and ill fame, gain and loss, victory and defeat. But no matter what happens in the world, God is there. When this constantly stays in one mind, then this is Sadbhav, reality. And this Sat is so great, and this Sadbhav, reality is so great, that the Supreme Soul's many forms, names, Leela, divine games, incarnations are all included in the word Sat. If you're performing worship of any form of God, be it in the male form of God, the female form of God, a child form of God, or any other form, then this comes within Sadbha, reality. If you're having a vision of any Leela divine games, then this comes within Sadbha, reality. If you're worshipping any incarnation of God, be it Lord Narsi, Lord Ram, Lord Krishna, or any other incarnation you're worshipping, they come within Sadbha, reality. Sadbha, reality is a very big subject. The second thing mentioned is Sadhubha, goodness. The different paths that have been shown in different sects for the attainment of the Supreme Soul, and not only that, but the feelings in the hearts of all of them, including pity, forgiveness, and compassion, etc., all come within Sadhu Bhav, goodness. If we wish to give a simple and straightforward meaning, then Sadhu means straightforward and Bhav means feeling. Therefore, Sadhu Bhav is a feeling of straightforwardness. The word Sat should be chanted. Not only that, but God tells Arjun that the word Sat is used for praiseworthy action. The word Sat is used for great actions or Sat Karma divine acts. That is why we say Sat Karma divine acts. The word Sat Karma is used for good deeds or great acts. This is praiseworthy action. This is action that takes us towards the Sat eternal. This is action that makes Sat eternal steady in our hearts and our intellects. This is action that makes our faith towards the Sadhu Bhav goodness firmer. This is Sat Karma divine acts. That is why this word is used. Om Tat Sat. Let's go to the next verse.